we have a box of cardboard. Yay. Sorry, undoing the tape on this has got me out of breath. Um, but welcome to this video where we're uh, unboxing a vacuum cleaner um, in quite a large box for what is quite a small hoover. Um, it's a lawnmower box, which I, hmm, I can't really show you. It has my address plastered on it in several locations. Let's just see if it's, oh yeah. Yeah, there you are. Big lawnmower box. This is a, well, hopefully a Cebo K1. Now, I've always been a fan of the Cebo K series vacuums. And <laughs> there you go, creative packaging. Um, and for years, a year, well, years ago, I had a K1 and loved it, but traded it with Pneumatic Rule 29 for something else. So, and then a couple of years ago, I got a brand new E1, which is very good, don't get me wrong. But I just never liked it as much as the K1 um, and always wanted another K1. And this is me getting another one. This was cheap off eBay. It was literally a fifth of what it cost new. Well, that and the fact that Cebos are like double the price they used to be. Oh, someone just fell down downstairs. Anyway, it was 40 quid. And considering it has a full service box with it, which is like 21 quid on its own, that's pretty good. I have incidentally just put a bid on another K1, which is also only £40 and it's the very early type that I used to have. But I thought, well, it's going that cheap as well. Well, let's see what we've got bag wise. They look like genuine bags. Oh, yeah. So we have new filters and one, two, three, slightly different brand in there, I remember. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. That is the full box of eight new bags. I also have nine new bags in the garage somewhere. So yeah, it's the first K1 I've had in years. I actually ended up getting another one off Dan, but it was just an old ratty one, so I never liked it very much. I then had a, a K3, is it a K3? Yeah, a K3 Volcano at one point, which was good, but it had a bizarre fault with it, and it, I never liked it as much either. So Maybe it was a hose, nah. It does look in very good order, and it did look like pensioners selling it, so that's good. I'm hoping the machine doesn't need a refurb or anything. Apparently it was bought early 2016, they, they had a photo of the invoice on the, the list them, and it was literally bought like the first couple of days of 2016, and then two years ago they got a cordless and haven't used it since, so they're all saying the right words. Um, and it was only 199 from John Lewis five years ago. And considering, have you looked at the price of Cebos recently? These are like hundreds. So we have the main body, which has some dodgy scuffs on it. But apart from that, it's all good. Have the, oh, I'm a smelling strip. Have all the stuff here. It is just going to be for using, so I'm not too precious about it. A good polish will help it. Let's see what this filter's like. You can never get them out. Even I can get them out. I'm the Hoover Master. Come on, Sam. Let's do it. There we go. Right, well, that needs changed. It's probably never been changed before. Um, and I always think it doesn't help the air belts if you don't change them, because then you get carbon bleeding through and they go like that. Missing the crevice tool, but has the... I thought I had the crevice tool. Unless it's just not in there. Has the plug come away? No, it hasn't. The plug just always come away on them. There we go. There we are. Nearly. What's the inside like? Does it have a bag in here? Oh, it's got a new bag in here as well. So that's nine new bags. This is nice and clean. That's also nice and clean. I don't even need to change that. Just give that a quick wash. Stuff this bag in. There we go. All very nice. But there's still a lot to come out of the box, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. There must be something in there. What's that? Is there anything in there them? There's something in the box. Okay. Wonder where they buy milk from. Where do they buy that milk from? Oh, Tesco. That's really posh. That's where we buy our milk from. <laughs> This is the best bit about unboxing when you're just fumbling about. Is there anything in this, this box? Oh, look at this. Wow. Good. Right, okay. 
in here we have the manual, something in here. Oh, the brush. That's nice. We have this, which is off an older Sebo K1, but won't go amiss. The turbo head, nice. Let's chuck this back in the box just now. So yeah, I don't, didn't like they've registered the guarantee in paper form anyway. I might actually use that because that's quite a nice nozzle. Um, what else have we? Let's not get anything that. Ah, the Krebs is in here. That's actually in decent condition. It looks like they've never used it to use the upholstery tool on it. Let's chuck it back in its bum. Combi head. I absolutely hate these with a passion. They are just useless. They stick too much on floors and just scratch, even with the wee side things taken out. They're just pretty useless. So I think in here should be the tube and then that's it. And I think there should be a dusting brush clamp on the tube. There isn't. I'm sure it had a dusting brush clamp in the full one. Anyway, that's fine. It's a nice all metal tube instead of the half plastic ones the K ones of old used to come with. Yeah, let's chuck it together and give it a go and see how it works. So let's give it a go and see how it works. Looking at this, I'm going to guess the turbo brush is going to need a good service. But let's see. Delayed start, always comes here. Turbo brushing is a bit of a service and it does the same thing my K3 used to do and that is go red when you use the turbo brush but if you turn it down a smidge it generally used to fix it. Yeah that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. We'll give it a refurb, light refurb probably. And yeah I have a K1 again. I've missed it. I must have a mum. Yeah very cool. So we'll see you in the next video. Maybe you'll see this again one day or not. I don't know. We shall see. Thank you for watching. Just a very final side note, there was a dust and brush clamp, it was just hidden in a wee box. I knew there was one in the list and I wasn't losing it.